Hello everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to make a face shield and I promise you it's going to be very very easy and it's only going to take you less than three minutes. After you put in all the materials together it's going to take three minutes. So let's start. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your workspace is, is clean. So get a paper towel and get an alcohol and wipe your work surface. So after you cleaned your surface, now you're going to gather all your materials. So there's only three things that you're going to need for this project. And just use anything that you have in your house. So, I'm going to be using uh, a baseball cap, a plastic that's a little bit sturdy. So, what I am using right now, I now want to go to the store and uh, buy acrylic or plastic. So, I have here this is something that. I'm pretty sure most household have because this is um, something that you wrap your comforter or your bed sheet or this one in this case this is um, wrap a pillow so and it has a sturdy plastic so this will be perfect and the third material is um, velcro okay and obviously you need scissors okay so first thing we do is you also wanted to clean this up, wipe it, wipe it with alcohol. And this had a label, and the alcohol is able to remove the rest, the blue residue. So, Okay, so on this plastic, I don't want to waste plastic, so I could probably make one, two, four, four face shield. So the way you cut it is, if you notice, this one has uh, a square pocket to hold this one, and um, the best way, um, this pocket can make one shield so you don't really want to ruin it so the best way is to just cut this pocket out slowly so you won't tear it so you can remove this one here you want to remove this zipper and if you want to save it for later you can so you just punch a hole and just carefully cut it And since you can't really use this part here, so you just cut all the way over here. Okay. This is the top, so you don't really use this. And then you just, so there's the zipper. If you wanna save the zipper for future, I always save stuff, so. It's always the, Recycle this side here too. Where they, they sew the, the side, you might want to cut that one. And just follow it. Where they, they sew the side. Just follow it. Okay. So now it's going to be very well. Open it now. You can cut the pocket. I started cutting the sides and you can cut this was the pocket. Okay. 
can set this aside. I'm gonna work on it. It's a little wrinkle. wrinkled. So I can iron it, but when you iron it, make sure it's low and put a pillowcase on top of it. Ironed it and you fold it and you want to cut the end so it would curve a little bit. So there. Okay. So now you would measure now this cap is a youth cap. It's not a regular now, some people they would put the plastic around here and the reason I don't want to do that is because I don't want the plastic to touch my forehead so I wanted to put the plastic about an inch away from my face so as I said earlier when you make this project it's only gonna take you less than three minutes so I'm gonna time myself and prove to you that this is going to take three minutes or less. So um, there's going to be two more additional materials that you need is the marker and a tape measure. Okay, so let's start the timer. Okay, after you've gathered all the materials, you're going to measure the width of the brim. Okay, from not all the way over here, but one inch from the base of the brim, one inch you would want to measure that and that's six and three-fourths so fold the plastic in half and then from the top fold, fold this in half from the top you measure one inch Okay, inch. And then since the width was six and three fourths, you want to split that in half and you put that on here. Okay, and then mark this one. Now, now you want so because this is just a thin plastic, you don't want to um, tear the plastic. So you want to put, you want to reinforce with the paper, with the tape, put the tape over the mark, okay? And you will do the same thing on the other side. You put a mark, you put a tape on the other side too, where the marker is. And then all you have to do is cut, okay? Cut all the way where the marker ends. Okay, there you go. And then you're going to get your Velcro. Okay, put the Velcro inside there. You, you snap them together first and put it inside the corner and then you just insert it over here The velcro put the velcro in there and do that on the other side to swim put 
with the Velcro. See? There you go. So here it is, even if I wear my mask, see, I still have a lot of room, see, it's not touching, it's not touching my face, it's not touching my forehead. So here's the tip for you. So over here where you cut the slit and, and then you put the tape on it so it won't, you know, um, tear. If you have a puncher, a single puncher like this, it would really help um, if you put a, uh, if you punch a hole where the slit ends, that way it won't, the slit won't run. But if you don't have a puncher, you just need to double the tape. See that right there. So there's a, a hole. You can see it. Punch a hole in there. Okay. Now the good thing about this one is that you can after you've used it, you can take it out because it's Velcro, Velcro on there, and then you can wipe it and uh, to disinfect it. You can wipe it, and then when you're done, you can put it back. Like that. Now, if your Velcro on your hat doesn't stick, you can just you can uh, hot glue. Okay. Now. Now this, this size here, which is 14, 14 wide, is um, the size of youth, youth cap. Now I'm going to make another one for um, adult cap, okay? So for adult cap, the width would be 16, okay? So you measure one inch from the base of the cap and then from there you would measure the width so in this case it's seven inches okay now get your plastic so now you would cut plastic and on the other side The other one on the other side, put the velcro, and then there. Um. Let's help each other, and if you make one for yourself, give make another one for somebody that you care, or two, or three. And if, if say you don't know anybody, you can just share this link. That way, they can make it for themselves as well. Thank you so much. Let's all be safe. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.